So this is the old hardware, which would look terrible. Let me see any glue. Okay, to save money, this is my idea. Instead of replacing these two cabinets, I'm doing all that demo. And instead of just getting new cabinet doors white, because I'm really sick of white cabinets. I did that 2018, like been there, done that. And I want, I want to restore this wood to its old color, but I want it to be lighter. So I'm gonna bleach it. You can see I put some bleach right there, it's lighter. So I plan on painstakingly stripping these two cabinets and then getting one piece of quartz or granite to go across the whole top with a backsplash. I think that'll be cost effective. I could also try to re like to strip this to the wood, but then re, re, um, reface these. But when I go online to buy cabinet drawer fronts, it's hard for me to get the right color. So I'm having a problem with that. But yes, this is gonna take me a long time and it's gonna be very tedious and it's gonna be a lot of work. I wouldn't wish this on my worst friend <laughs> or my worst enemy, I should say, because it is not easy at all. But I do like the look and I'm gonna, I plan on going over it with like some white wax, putting some black hardware and replacing the granite. And I think this is gonna save me like $1,500 doing this myself. It'll probably take me a whole month because it is slow and it's painful. Okay, so the inspiration wood is right here. It's called Aged White Oak. I got this from Eye Swoon. So even though mine has that ugly detail, which I hate, this is still the color I'm going for. I'm going for rustic luxury where you mix aged, vintage, distressed pieces with like really nice marble and classic finishes. So yeah. That's what I'm going for. And we're not gonna do anything fake. Like this is granite, I wanna have real granite. I don't even think I want quartz. I think I want real granite. Um, anyways, when I did the office remodel, we used quartz that looks like marble. I'm kinda over that. So I, I think I wanna do like real, real marble or real granite instead of quartz. Anyhow, but I think I nailed it with the wood color. Okay, so that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm not even gonna worry about the inside I kind of like ruined some of the insides but I'm going to um, probably use contact paper anyways so it's not that important um, if my husband would have did this he would have did a way better job but anyways so but yeah so I'm gonna let them dry and yeah, it's very hard because you have all this relief. It's hard to get all the paint paint off, but if I were to just have sanded it all, it would have took me like hours and hours of sanding. And sanding really gets in your lungs, so I'm about to put on a mask and go sand um, some of the pieces. Okay, so this side is done. <clears throat> it's not bleached or whitewashed yet, but I was just testing out the black hardware. I don't think I like black hardware. I'm gonna go for a brushed nickel. So I'm still scraping the paint on this one. And you can see, I did bleach this, but I still gotta do the whitewash. It doesn't look good, but this right here is gonna be a little table with a piece of granite, so you're not gonna see that, but um, it ain't easy. And it doesn't look good now, but it will look good later, I promise. So I have 80 grit, which is uh, more like coarse, and then I have fine grit which is 120 and I'm just going to sand to try to get some of the uh, imperfections <laughs> so this not may not be everyone's cup of tea but this is like an aged oak and that's like a fresh wood look and I don't want the fresh wood I want like aged aged looks. I'm going for a rustic luxury type of look. So now I have to um, finish sanding. I did the coarse sand. Now I have to sand the um, the uh, doors. And see, that's like the backside. No one's going to see it. It doesn't matter. But 
I have to finish sanding and then we're gonna bleach and the bleaching gives it like that type of look. And then we're gonna do whitewash. Okay, so I have water and paint and I'm just going to paint and wipe. Simple as that, paint and wipe. Now I'm gonna go over this corner again with some caulk and white paint. So it's okay if I get it on the wall, but we just gotta paint and then wipe. So we got the white paint on, right? White wash, and then I'm gonna wipe. But I'm not sure how much to wipe yet, so. so I'm gonna start at the corner that I did and give it a light wipe. So I should be using some tape, but I'm not gonna waste my time. I don't wanna go downstairs because I forgot to get the tape. I don't wanna wake the baby. So I just wanna hit this edge. You know? Whoops. I don't even know if this is the right white paint, but I just want to like clean up the edge. Shit. Hold on. I just want to touch up. Yeah, I went downstairs to get the the uh, painter's tape, and I forgot it. My husband was distracting me about the drought. He watches that Vice, you know that Vice news and the German news and stuff. I guess there's a serious drought, especially like in Arizona. Even in Mendocino County, they're having to ship the water in. Anyways. So again, I'm just going one by one and doing the whitewash. It's very scary because it's like I stripped all the white paint away. Why would I be adding white back? But I really want to cancel out some of the redness. The oak, I think it's oak. And yeah, and I've done this before on a different piece of furniture. I have a video back, my five minute furniture flip. Think about that one, it was birch wood. So it responded differently and it didn't have yeah, it just responded differently. So we shall see. I think it's gonna blend. I've done a couple. Like, if you look, it looks like it's gonna go. And then if you look over there, it looks like it's gonna go. So I'm just gonna keep doing these and I'll be back. 90 is fine. So. I'm pretty sure it's this size. So I have to get um, 10 of these. So I went to Home Depot and then my husband bummed me out because he's showing me how we could have just bought a replacement cabinet. But he was the one that didn't want me to spend any money. So I refinished them myself and now he's acting like I could have just bought it for, you know, six, seven hundred dollars <sighs> Men. Okay, so I got these brushes. Then I got some wood stain in antique white, which I may use, but I think it looks good without it. I got some polyurethane, and then I got two really nice light fixtures, which are downstairs, light bulbs for them. And then I got the hardware, which is like, I'll show you. too small I mean it looks too big it still looks too big but anyways I got this I think that's gonna look really good so let me oh then I got a towel bar and then I don't want all black so then I got one gold piece and then I'm gonna show you guys the light fixtures. so I got this polyurethane and I, I did get some antique white yeah. finish but I think it's fine I think I, I gave it a good color so we're just gonna seal it in so there's one light that we have. We just gotta put in the light bulbs. Okay, so this hardware looks really good, but it's a little uneven. I gotta fix that. 
slants down and then look at this big hole I think um, I saw someone use somebody use wood glue and then mix with wood shavings so let me try I it. saw this trick where you mix wood glue I'm using any glue but I'm using leather glue but you mix with sawdust and then you pack the hole Whoa. You pack the hole. Well, you... I packed the hole, but now it's not quite the right color. So I think I need to um, put the whitewash on top. All right, so as good as it's gonna get. Now I'm gonna take some of my whitewash and kind of go over so got this little thing I'm just gonna put there all right so a little paint uh-oh there's still a hole See, it's still a sunken crevasse. That's not good. What you do is once you have it all, wait a second, Logan, and you see a part that looks dark or funny, you can just like give it a little bit of a, a zhuzh, zhib, zhuzh it up a little bit, right? And then, Logan, Bogan, give me a second. And go back to the one that you did first. The big gouging hole that's the other big gouging hole but it's not so bad from a distance it's not such a big deal plus did i ever say i was a professional furniture refinisher no so i'm a noob i'm green but i think it still looks so another crazy project i plan on doing is i plan on taking those wood strips and putting them along the top oh by the way those are the two new light fixtures that i got pretty cute but I originally wanted to spray paint them black matte black but my hardware store didn't have any more matte black so I'm gonna try to take this wood and give it this treatment so if I would have bought brand new cabinets it would have been like wood like that you know but I think I'm just gonna do a whitewash and try to frame the mirror. okay so now we're on a tripod so I have two things of Roman clay that when I do the fireplace, we're gonna do like a Roman clay treatment. I was thinking like, this still looks too much like brand new wood. So I have one called Fade to Black. I'm gonna do the playroom uh, fireplace in black. So I was thinking, I need like a towel. I need something, hold on. Yes. Whoops, shit. All right, that explains why my son is always saying shit. Because I'm always saying shit. Anyways, I was thinking, what if I did like a, a distress treatment? And I know distressing is a little bit passe, but I was thinking that it looked too brand new, the wood, you know? Like, what if it had, you guys can't even see there. What if it had, like, some spots dark? What do you guys think about that? You know? Actually, I should have used like a brown but just like random because it's just going to be a fake frame around the mirror i'm not even i'm just going to put up a double-sided tape i'm gonna have my husband notch out the part where the mirror has these little clips and then just make like a frame i mean yeah i mean it's subtle but you kind of need some distressing 
um, around things. Whoa, that's too much. But you just rub it, right? And you can go back in with your little white and your little beige. It will be like a nice antique French country look or whatever. I don't know what kind of look I'm going for. Rustic luxury. I'm going for rustic luxury, okay? But when you use brand new wood, it's like you don't really get rustic luxury. I mean, you don't really get, yeah, you don't get rustic luxury. Cause it's supposed to be like, you know, wabi-sabi aged look. So yeah, I'm gonna keep at this and come back. Okay, so what I was thinking with these is I could frame the mirror, you know, just like this on all sides. So when we step back, it's like, it can um, frame the mirror, you know, kind of coordinate. It's a little light, but it looks like it might, I think it's gonna really like complete the look. I've got this big bodacious mirror. And also um, we're gonna go have a look at some granite. We're gonna go to the remnant yard. I think it's a cost effective way. To, we're, well, we're either gonna get one piece to go there the bottom middle table in there or we'll just get another black and white piece i don't want to get just another black and white piece because i feel like if i'm gonna spend the money on some granite and i'm gonna spend the money to have it cut i might as well replace it with something i like only thing is we're gonna to have to do the demo so uh let's go to the remnant yard okay so the good thing about the remnant yard is if you have a small project you can find something that's affordable i mean you're usually going to spend around maybe like two to four thousand for a whole slab but if you just have a project where you have a limited budget like me like i don't want to go over a thousand dollars i'm going to find pieces that will fit the project now i could go with more peppery colored granite but i'm trying to move away from that because the other one two the other two bathrooms in the home already have that granite and i want something different for the bedroom um a lot of the pieces at the remnant yard they're not going to be the newest most modern most on trend on vogue pieces they're going to be things that people took out to remodel see everyone's doing that but that's not real granite that's porcelain this right here is porcelain Okay guys, if you want to see which piece I picked, stay tuned for the next video. Bye!